Yo, so the last one we made a custom bar. This one we're going to make uh, it animate. Okay, so we're gonna make it smooth. We're gonna make it change smoothly. For that, we're gonna be using tween service equals game get service tween service. So I think all we need is the new size. Um, so what we're going to do is actually say new size equals new size, new size equals, um, this and we'll say new actually we'll say new pro actually tween goal <laughs> i'm tripping i'm gonna do tween goal dot size equals and we'll say this and then we will um uh local tween equals tween service create now we're gonna pass in for this um the element so we need to pass in health bar that's the first property or param that's the first parameter first argument and then we need to pass in, I believe, the goal. And then we need to pass in tween info. Um, so I need, I need to make a variable. So local tween info equals tween info dot new. The First parameter for tween info is the um, wait time, or the not the wait time, but the the time the animation is going to be playing, the time it's going to be running for. So tween uh, tween time we'll just do tween time as a constant variable and we will put uh three i don't know so we'll do tween time and then you can just leave it here but there is more that you can put here and i think the next one is style i don't know let's look at the um documentation because i never freaking remember so we have the, wait, using direction goes first. The direction in which the using the style executes. Interesting. I usually, I usually do this one first. So I don't know if I've used that. Then we have delay time, easing style. So we'll just use the two arguments because I know that that works. So we'll just use wait time and then crap how do i put tween status no style no i don't even remember how to do this just go we'll have to go to the documents and that's a, an important thing you don't need to remember how to do all this guys like you have the docs for a reason um so yeah like i'm all constantly looking up the same thing over and over um, so what am I looking for? I forgot. I just lost train of thought. Okay. That's not it. Uh, tween info dot new. That's not it. There we go. Here we go. Here's a good docs for it. So time easing style, easing style. That's what it is. Okay. Easing style dot linear. We'll just do that. 
Uh, so that's all we're going to do for that. And then we should be able to put it in here. Oh, no. And it's either this one. Hold on. What's this? Create instance between info property table. Okay. So this one, I think, actually goes. Yeah. Tween. So the tween info goes before uh, tween goal. So that should work. And that's pretty much it, guys. We just set up an animation. Let's see if it works, though, okay? Because I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> like, I really... Uh, I don't use tween service all that much. Oh. That's not it. Let's see. Health bar. Dot size. Tween goal. Hmm, interesting. Tween goal. Um, tween time one, maybe. Change that to one. Oh, we have to play it. Okay, I see. I never remember how to do this. And then we can just go tween play. And then this should definitely work. And there we go. And as you can see, it's like going smooth now. So that's really how you can just, uh, you know, simply get your GUI to animate. Um, there's a ton of stuff you could do. I would just mess around with it. Um, and again, the documents are right here. Just search up Roblox API tween service. And it will tell you all about it. All you need to know to start experimenting and creating your own animations. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. See you guys.